What's going on everyone? My name is Tenebris Infinite and welcome back to Generation Zero. With the latest patch for GZ, we now can finally store our crafted stat bonuses on vanity items, allowing us to have setups for our vanity items that can serve a huge variety of needs in the game. As of right now, stat bonuses are pretty minimal, so we don't have anything OP out of this first iteration of apparel crafting, but these small bonuses can add up and go a long way in your fight against the machines. So today I'm going to go over 5 necessary builds you need to have for general gameplay here. The clothes I've picked aren't really the focus, it's more so the schematic choices, but I'll have a full list of all the individual vanity items I've picked in the description. Alongside that, I'll also have full listings of all the materials you'll need to set up these individual builds. So let's get started with build number one, the mobility build. So for the mobility build, I've gone with the jump boost shoes, the jump boost pants, the bullet resistant shirt, and the bullet resistant jacket. For the primary focus of this build, it's all based around that jump boost stat. You wind up getting around 3% of a permanent boost to your jumping and general athletic ability here in the game. And that 3% goes a massive way when it comes to platforming, as we'll go over with some short examples in just a second here. But outside of that, I decided to go with the two sets of bullet resistance in order to get 2% bullet damage reduction in order to just kind of serve the general gameplay because this mobility suit will kind of be the general suit that I'm going to be wearing in most of my my casual play. So uh, I find that a lot of times most of the damage you wind up taking is actually bullet damage, so that's why I pick bullet damage for my top two sets, but you can definitely pick and vary those two sets of defensive bonuses uh, based on your kind of own free will and what you find is the stuff that you take the most damage from in the game. So one of the prime ways that you can see the benefit of having some sort of a mobility suit in the game is by coming on over to a location like the Mosker uh, resistance camp over here. There is this one outlook tower that has its little uh, gangway kind of removed from it. And so uh, this is a perfect example of how this jump boost is actually really, really beneficial for reaching locations that are normally very hard to reach. Getting up to this tower is much easier once you have that jump boost. You can do it without the jump boost, but it's honestly, like, the most painful thing. So, <laughs> definitely, this is one of the prime examples of how the mobility suit can really benefit you in your general day-to-day -day here in Generation Zero. And then another great example is, again, off at the Mosker um, resistance camp, and Coming on over to the little cave that I showed you guys in the top 10 new locations in Generation Zero. Uh, and coming on over here and doing that little platforming setup and jumping across all the rocks. Uh, that one jump between the bridge is borderline impossible to do without this added 3% bonus. And honestly, the rest of the jumps become so much easier when you have this little incremental bonus to your jumping. The next build we're going to go over is a bulletproof build. And basically, this build is really simple in its concept. You just slap bullet resistance on everything and anything that you can tie it down to. Basically, it will give you a 4% bonus to your bullet resistance, which can be a huge difference, especially in Gorilla Difficulty, where everything hurts like hell. So, uh, all you gotta do is just find the various forms of bullet resistance, and then just apply it to all, all of your different individual clothing items. It can cost quite a bit of steel, but uh, in the end, farming materials is not too difficult. I'm going to be having a video out on farming different materials very, very soon, uh, so definitely stay tuned for that if you've been having any issues with farming materials. But uh, another thing too is in case if you haven't picked up these various um, uh, schematics and such for your clothing, uh, I'm going to have another video uh, linked in the description where I go over 15 easy to get crafting schematics and also I'm going to have a link off to the wiki where you can find a full disambiguation of all of the locations for various schematics. 
Now, next up is more of a general purpose defense build. So basically, we're slapping on each of the individual defensive bonuses, which means that we're only getting a 1% damage reduction to each of the incoming types of damage, but overall this can be kind of more of a jack-of-all-trades type build, where it's not really a master of defending any of these particular types of damage, but on the other hand, it will reduce things overall, which can greatly improve your chances of survival in this game. So, uh, one of the funny things is that there is no impact resistance in the game so far. Uh, and so, I had to get a little bit creative and find a pair of shoes that actually had some impact resistance on it. So, when you're making this build, uh, just keep in mind that there is no impact resistance schematics as of right now in the game. But... Uh, you can find that impact resistance on various pieces of uh, vanity items, and so you can actually get that defensive bonus for your character and for this build. Uh, and then again, you just want to go for the explosion, the fire, and the bullet resistance on top of that, and you've got pretty much all the grounds covered for the damage you're going to take. Now again, keep in mind that all the footage you're seeing here is in Gorilla Difficulty where the machines hit like trucks. And so the fact that I'm able to survive all of these attacks with just my weak, flimsy little engineer build is uh, saying a lot for what these 1% buffs actually do. And I just cannot wait until we get higher tier uh, crafting schematics so that that way we can have even more powerful setups and builds when it comes to our core. So for the next two sets, we're going to be going over some more stealthy sets. Uh, one being something that people have requested heavily in the community, which is a quote-unquote ghillie suit. And the other one being a little bit more multi-purpose of a stealth build. So uh, one of the big things in Generation Zero's Gorilla difficulty is that machines will notice you like that. They will notice you immediately in most situations. So uh, having a further bonus to your visibility and reducing the opportunity for machines to kind of target you right off the bat can really give you an advantage, especially if you aren't planning on putting any skills into the various visibility skills and you're just aiming for a more general build like a Vanguard or an Engineer build. So uh, what I put together Together here is just four different sets of visibility reduction and you'll see here that I'm able to stand beside this max level rival for a decent amount of time of course I am using cover kind of intelligently but admittedly stealth isn't my strong suit so if you're better at stealth gameplay you can actually use this to make a huge benefit for you Normally in this situation, this uh, this hunter here would have seen me right away and would have started raining nukes down on my location right off the bat, right once I started sneaking out that door. But with this current build, he actually doesn't notice me for a really decent amount of time here, showing how good 4% of a benefit to your uh, visibility really is in whole. But, in the end, just reducing your visibility doesn't turn you into some super secret spy agent. And really, in the end, there is a huge difference between visibility and noise reduction. So I'll kind of go over the difference between the two right here and now. So basically, for your visibility reduction, it only benefits you as long as you're sitting mostly still or moving incredibly slowly. Whereas noise reduction allows you to move much quicker around the opponent opponents and also allows you to move through various things like foliage without getting detected by that noise that you create when you go through the foliage. A lot of times when you're going through foliage you'll hear the various twigs snap and the leaves kind of crunch beneath your feet and stuff like that. And so what noise reduction does is it actually reduces the amount of range that that noise will travel for in the game world from what I can kind of tell. Or maybe it just reduces the ability of the opponents to hear that noise whether or not that noise is reaching them or not. 
So what you'll be able to see here is that I'm actually able to sneak up and around these enemies well within my typical uh, kind of range that I normally would go uh, before I actually start attacking the enemies. So the noise reduction is incredibly useful and you might even want to focus for your general build stealth suit to have more noise reduction than visibility reduction, just depending on how you like to play when it comes to stealth here in Generation Zero. So there you guys go, five necessary builds that you need to have here in Generation Zero as of the newest update with apparel crafting. And I think that all of these builds are incredibly useful, uh, even just at the current 1% buffs that you get. I would still really like to see those buffs get increased just a smidge, up to like 5% or something like that. Some people in the community have said that a 5% buff would be overpowered, but it definitely wouldn't. <laughs> in the end, it totally would not be overpowered. We'd be seeing overpowered when we start getting to the 5 crown and 6 crown schematics, which I think is the way the game should be, uh, personally. Uh, but, depending on your opinion, maybe sound off in the comments down below. And if you have any builds that I didn't make so far, definitely show them off in the comments down below as well. But for now, I've been Tenebris, you've been awesome, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.